Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a huge batch of spaghetti sauce. Um, you can put it into freezer bags or freezer containers and it's ready when you are. Just take it out and thaw it. So I'm going to turn on my stove. I'm using my roaster because it's got a lot more room and I'm just using the first, like the front burner and the back burner. So I'm going to turn those both on. It's already warm, so I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil into my pan. Then I'm going to add, I roasted up some garlic this morning. It's a whole head of garlic. Okay, so I'm going to put that into there. Then I'm going to add one whole stalk of celery and about four good size onions, like medium to large. So I'm going to put that into there. teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to let this cook down until the um, onions and celery are translucent and I will be back. Okay, so now all my onions, my garlic, and my celery are all cooked down pretty good. I'm now going to add my peppers. You can use green peppers. These ones were on sale, so I'm just chop them roughly. It doesn't matter because when you're finished, you're going to blend this all up so that it makes it soft. So you just want to cook these a little bit. So, now, here is my whopping bowl of tomatoes. So, I'm going to just dump these in. There's 34 tomatoes. And I just roughly chop them into about like one inch pieces. I'm going to add my pepper. It's about a teaspoon. You can add more or less. Whichever, whatever you like. I have about a tablespoon of oregano, a tablespoon of parsley, and um, with the spices too, you can use whatever spices you want. Like you don't have to use exactly the spices I'm using. This is just what I prefer and it tastes really good. So, so now you're just going to give everything a good stir. You are going to let this cook and simmer away for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And you got to stir it frequently so that it doesn't start sticking to the bottom. And when that is done, I will come back and show you what to do. Hot. Back again. I forgot to add something to this. You need to um, add a small can of tomato paste. This is a 156 milliliter or 5.5 ounces. It's going to help thicken up the sauce a little bit and add more red color. And now, at this point, I'm going to add in two, oh, one already went in, but two bay leaves, just for now. We'll take those out when we're at that point. And I'm going to continue to cook this down for about another five or six minutes. And I'll be back when that process is finished. Okay, so I've taken the bay leaves out. 
and this is cooked down pretty good. So it's still hot, so I want you to be careful with this process, but you're going to put, fill this about halfway full with your sauce. You're going to want to vent this because, like I said, it's still hot. And we all know what happens when you put hot things in a blender and turn it on. It just, it can explode and burn you. So be very careful. Or you can wait until this completely cools down and then do it if that's what you prefer. So I want to blend this, but I don't want to blend it into a soup. I want to have a little bit of chunkiness to it, so I'm just going to pulse it. Or not, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it. Just like that. And then I'm going to pour it into these bowls. Yep, I still got some chunky chunkiness in there. I'm gonna keep pouring, keep doing this process, or I can't even speak today. Um, until all of this has been blended. Then I'm gonna let the entire thing cool down and put it into freezer bags, portion it off into freezer bags, and then throw it into the freezer, and then you're done. So thanks for watching. Hope this video has helped.